Hey, what's up, beautiful people? Good morning, Sanson Williams. I just had a thought here, uh, teaching at Columbia University of Blockchain, uh, Cryptocurrencies and AI and Beyond class. And we've had a lot of conversations this week about uh, Facebook, right? The company and its Libra coin. So it's like, oh, what are we actually having a conversation about? We're actually having a conversation about power. I'm gonna break this down for you really quickly. So Facebook is a company. And so they're issuing their own Libra coin, I'm sorry, they're issuing their own pseudo crypto. I'm gonna call it hashtag crypto canis because it's the wolf in sheep's clothing. And so the real purpose of this, the real conundrum, isn't the fact that Facebook is issuing its own cryptocurrency. The fact is power. Because blockchain and cryptos, they're just a tool to reinforce their power. The real question is, why do private entities, companies like Facebook, think they have the power, the right, to determine what is value? And so this is where we're at an interesting place where governments are losing power to private entities, private corporations, who will compete with them. And so I was thinking, well, that's interesting. If private corporations are looking for power, what happens when, when it occurs to everyone that money has no value? Money has no value. It goes up, it goes down. Uh, it's based upon faith. And sometimes the faith is strong, BTC to the moon. Other times it's, it's just not. And so when we look at what the future of money, our value actually is or looks like, we're actually talking about real assets. And so the question came to me that in a digital environment, what is a real asset? Because what's real or what's an asset when it's all digital, it's all electronic. You can't actually touch it, smell it, hear it, feel it. That's a good question. So I said, hey, if it's real, it can be consumed. There's consumption. And so what, what kind of things can be consumed? What is actually involved in consumption? We'll talk about that a little bit later. Shout out to Jamil Shett and Chain House because we're gonna talk about that more with them offline. Which brings us to tokenization. And so when we talk about tokenization, one of the easiest real assets to think about is housing because you use that, it's consumed. Uh, you need housing, just point blank. So when money has no value, you want to hold on to real assets. Housing is a real asset. Uh, buildings are a real asset. Those will be tokenized. Ownership of these buildings will be tokenized. When those ownership of that building is tokenized, those tokens will then become a type of currency. Those tokens will be type of money. We're not quite yet there, but in the future of awesomeness, when not only Facebook, but any company, wants to create its own currency, and a power grab, remember, blockchain and cryptos, those are just the tools. So how do we, how do I, how do you actually maintain value in a real environment that's completely virtual? We're gonna talk about that a little bit later because it boils down to tokenization and uh, tokens will be the new money. So that's it for the moment. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching. My name is Samson Williams. Uh, and thank you, Ori, for recording me. Peace.